Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach who has lost and maintained 140 pounds. And today I am here to deliver the video so many of you have been asking about and that is how I make my 35 gram of protein coffee. Now you can make all of these recipes hot, iced, or blended. Mainly I'm going to be sharing with you how I make it iced and I'm going to share with you one blended coffee recipe. You can also create any of these recipes in hot coffee form as well. They're very simple to make, they're absolutely delicious, and again, 35 grams of protein in coffee, you can't beat it. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on because I upload five videos every single week and we always do something fun on Sunday, including protein coffee. And of course, check out the description box down below. I will link everything I use to make my 35 gram protein coffee, as well as nutrition coaching, where I offer personalized macros and calories. Again, that is what I follow to lose and maintain my 140 pound weight loss, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for questions, accountability, or to talk with me directly. Links and discounts to my other favorite things and come join our Facebook group. It's free, it's supportive, and we would love to have you. I do have an Instagram reel showing exactly how I make my protein coffee. I'll link that reel down below for you as well. You can save that and that way you can reference that and this video on how to make the protein coffee. So let's get started on this 35 gram of protein delicious coffee. Like I said, I'm an iced coffee drinker, so 99.9% .9 of the time I'm making this iced. Again, you can make it blended or hot. Now this protein coffee is very, very easy to make. It, you, it includes only three ingredients. Now this first ingredient is optional. Now you can make the, this protein coffee with a water base if you would like, but I actually like to use a cold brew base. And if you followed me for a while, you know my obsession with making cold brew at home. It's so much more affordable. It tastes so much better. I have tried every store brand of cold brew and I hate them all. They're either bitter or they have no flavor until I found Draga. This is the only cold brew that I use to make my coffee. Now I choose to make my protein coffee with a coffee base. Again, you can use water, you could use milk, you could use a plant-based milk, any liquid that you prefer. I like to use my Draga cold brew because it just enhances the flavor of the coffee, gives me a little bit more caffeine, which I'm never mad about. And I get asked a lot, what flavor of Draga, any of them? They are all absolutely delicious. You cannot go wrong with that. So this is what Draga looks like. This is a cold brew grinds. This particular flavor is Goose's Marshmallow. I also love their Mocha Mint, and this is the one I'm currently using, which is their White Chocolate Mousse. Like I said, any flavor of Drag Up will work. Find one that you enjoy, change it up to get different variations of your coffee. And my cold brew pitcher, I bought this right off of Amazon. I will link it down below for you. It's very, very simple to make the cold brew. Go ahead and insert some footage here of me making the cold brew. Very, very, very simple. I use one cup of Drag Up grinds for the entire pitcher. The grinds go directly into the funnel that comes with the cold brew pitcher. You fill it up with water, you set it out on your counter for 24 hours, then you're going to go ahead and empty out the grinds, fill, and then I fill up my cold brew pitcher to the top with additional water and put it in your refrigerator. And you have homemade cold brew on hand, and in my opinion, the best cold brew. So this is always the base to my protein coffee, whether it's iced or blended. If you are going to make it hot, you would want to use a hot coffee base. And then the next piece is that Herbalife High Protein Iced Coffee. Even though it says iced, again, you can make this hot. There are three flavors of the iced coffee mix. First is the mocha. This one is probably my favorite and the base that I use the most. Then we have Caramel Macchiato, also delicious. If you want just a really good coffee taste, they have the house blend. Each one of these is two scoops of the coffee mix for 100 calories and 15 grams of protein. That's incredible. And like I said, it tastes really, really, really good. That's why I said you could use just water or milk or plant-based milk. You would just mix the iced coffee mix in with that. This is made from real coffee. It is high protein, low fat, has only one gram of sugar and no artificial flavors or added colors. And again, two scoops, 100 calories, 15 grams of protein. So to my cold brew, I mix in two scoops of the Herbalife 
iced coffee mix. And from there, it is any flavor of Clean Simple Eats protein that you would like. This is my recommendation if you haven't tried Clean Simple Eats or you want to try out tons of different flavors of the protein coffee, pick up the variety pack. You actually get 10 individual serving packets of protein in 10 different flavors. So it gives you the opportunity to try out a lot of the different Clean Simple Eats protein flavors. Now they all come in these individual little packages. This is one scoop or one serving. These are also about 100 to 110 calories and 20 grams of protein. 20 plus 15 is 35 grams of protein. Now if you're using Fair Life Milk as your base, you're going to get even more protein in an iced coffee that you make at home saves you that will save you a ton of money of getting coffee at your local coffee shop and it helps you reach your protein goal. I use most of the Clean Simple Eats flavors with the exception of just a couple of the more fruity flavors in my protein coffee. So I add my Drag Up Cold Brew, my Clean Simple Eats protein powder, and my two scoops of Herbalife. And the only tool you're going to need besides a cup is a frother. This is going to help blend in the Herbalife coffee mix and the Clean Simple Eats protein powder. I bought this one right off of Amazon. I will link it for you. All of my protein coffees are made exactly the same way cold brew, clean simple eats protein powder, and Herbalife coffee blend. Now there are so many different flavor concoctions that you can make. So I wanna share with you one of my all time favorites. Clean simple eats mint cookie protein powder and the mocha base. This is so good. If you love a mint mocha, you're going to love this. It's the perfect mix of chocolate and mint. This is very mint forward and then this adds the extra bit of chocolate and sweetness. This is probably my favorite combination and the one that I make most often. Next up is Clean Simple Eats Snickerdoodle Protein Powder and the Caramel Macchiato Herbalife Iced Coffee Base. This is so good. This adds that little bit of cinnamon snickerdoodle flavor along with the sweetness of the caramel and the vanilla. This is another one of my favorite combinations. Now this might sound weird, but this is so incredibly good. Clean Simple Eats Bananas Foster's protein powder and caramel macchiato coffee mix. This is so good. You get that little bit of banana taste. The bananas foster is caramelized, so you, it brings out the caramel flavor in the caramel macchiato mix. German chocolate cake protein powder and the mocha base. This is so good. This protein powder gives you just the right amount of coconut and almond, and it's so chocolatey and decadent. If you love German chocolate cake or if you get German chocolate coffee, German chocolate mochas, this is going to be your favorite combination. So good, so chocolatey, so delicious. This is the Cinnamon Roll Clean Simple Eats Protein Powder and the House Blend Base. This protein powder stands on its own. It's so cinnamony and vanilla and sweet and delicious. It literally tastes like a cinnamon roll. And then you add it to the coffee base and it just enhances the coffee flavor of the cold brew. This is really good if you love a good cinnamon roll and coffee moment. Now this is another one that may seem a little bit weird, but this is the coconut cream protein powder with the house blend coffee. This is really, really good because this again stand on, stands on its own. The coconut flavor is there. The creaminess that you get in coconut cream pie is there. I don't know how they do it. And then pairing it with the house blend just brings out the coffee flavor. If you love coconut lattes, coconut mochas you can even use the mocha powder for a coconut mocha vibe definitely highly recommend this is another one of my favorites because if you know me you know i love mint anything this is the white chocolate peppermint protein powder with the mocha base this is going to give you a peppermint mocha vibe and i love the white chocolate in here because it adds that sweetness that white chocolate gives paired with the mocha and the peppermint it's the perfect minty peppermint mocha combination. I also love a good peanut butter mocha. I love a good peanut butter anything. So using the chocolate peanut butter protein powder and the mocha mix is so good together. Again, it tastes like a Reese's peanut butter cup in your coffee. It is so good. This is my favorite for blended. This is the mix that I did for my blended coffee. I like to top it with a little bit of whipped cream. You can drizzle a little bit of chocolate sauce on top. And it is this decadent milkshake coffee frappuccino with 35 grams of protein and only 200 calories. Now, if you like things a little bit more simple, you feel like a little bit more simple profile flavor, I recommend the brownie batter protein powder. This is going to give you a mocha. And a mocha that's about half the calories of any other mocha that you buy at a coffee shop. These two together make a really nice chocolate treat. Again, if simple flavor, simply vanilla, paired with the caramel macchiato is perfection. Caramel macchiato is caramel and vanilla. So putting a vanilla protein powder with the vanilla in the base, it just makes it so sweet and good. And then you've got the back note of the caramel, one of my favorite recipes. Another one of my favorites, this one is super good hot and blended, and that is the s'mores protein powder with the mocha base. If you love s'mores, graham cracker, marshmallow, chocolate, you're going to love this. This one is 
really good blended. You can top it again with some whipped cream, some crushed up graham crackers, and you really feel like you're getting a decadent dessert, but you're getting 35 grams of protein and only 200 calories. Another one of my favorites if you love sweet coffee is the cake batter protein mix in the house blend. The cake batter is so good. It literally tastes like birthday cake. And then you're blending it with just a coffee base. It enhances the coffee flavor and adds the perfect amount of birthday cake sweetness. This one is also really good blended. And last but not least is one of my more unique combinations that actually includes a third ingredient and a really good third ingredient. If you love caramel, vanilla caramel macchiato, you're going to love this. You're going to need the Simply Vanilla Protein Powder, the caramel macchiato coffee base, and then you're going to add in this third little addition, which just enhances the salted caramel fla flavor of this drink. And that is the salted caramel dry flavoring mix from Herbalife. Now they have a ton of different flavors. This is the only one that I've tried and I really, really like this one. It's a half of a level teaspoon for only five calories. I put an entire teaspoon in mine. Again, whether I'm making it hot, blended or iced, this is salted caramel in powder form. It is so good. It just brings in all of the salted caramel that pairs beautifully with the caramel macchiato coffee base and the vanilla protein powder. You can add this to anything, hot coffee, iced coffee, smoothies, blended coffees, baked goods, anything that you want salted caramel flavoring in, it is so good. This bag actually has 141 servings in it. So tons and tons of servings, I love this. It's one of my other favorite blended drinks to make. I also love it iced. So I will link this as well. This is from Herbalife. Again, they have so many different flavors. I just am a big fan of the salted caramel. So that is how I make my 35 grams of protein, 200 calorie, iced, hot, or blended coffee drinks. This has been a staple for me since I discovered this. I have this every single day. I look forward to it. It's amazing. And as we move into summer, I can see myself I can see myself having even more blended coffee in my typical iced coffee. Again, if you're a hot coffee drinker, no fear. You can make all of these recipes in hot coffee form as well. Again, you would just use a hot coffee base instead of a cold coffee base. I will link everything I shared with you today as well as the Instagram reel on how I make my protein coffee. I'll link the Herbalife iced coffee bases, the salted caramel flavoring base, clean, simple eats, drag up, as well as the cold brew pitcher and my frother. It's all down below for you. If you are a coffee drinker and you have a hard time hitting your protein goal, I promise you this is going to be the easiest and most delicious way for you to hit that protein goal every single day. I love it. It is my, I have one of these daily. I've turned so many people onto it. I have all of my friends, my family, my bootcamp group using the Herbalife coffee base because it's so good. And one other thing quickly I want to point out about this base, you can simply take one or two scoops of this and mix it with water and you're getting a 100 calorie, 15 gram protein coffee drink. I did that when I climbed Picachu Peak, the mountain. I had two scoops of this in a shaker bottle in Julia's car. And when I came back, I mixed it with some water and drank it on my way to lunch. That way I was able to get in 15 grams of protein for only 100 calories. It's really good all by itself. And you know that you can use Clean Simple Eats for everything. Baking, smoothies, protein shakes, coffee, you name it, Clean Simple Eats is a go-to. So again, everything will be linked down below for you. Let me know in the comments which one of these are you most excited to try. And if you enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, turn your bell on so you never miss any future videos and check out that description box for everything I shared with you today and come join my Facebook group and follow me on Instagram. Thank you so much for watching. I'm so excited for you to try this out for yourself and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.